With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. The question is, ABCD is a parallelogram. If AB equals to 2AD and P is the midpoint of CD, prove that angle APB is equals to 90 degree. So here, first of all, you have to draw the diagram here. Okay. Let's say this side is our AB side. We can take any measurement for that. Okay. As no measurement is specified in the question. Let's say this is our AB side. Okay. Now let's draw AD. Let's say this point is D. And now we'll draw DC which will be parallel to AB. Okay. Let's say this is DC. Now we'll join B and C. Now we'll join B and C. Okay. So here this point is A. This point is B. This is C. This is D. As it is said that P is the midpoint of P is the midpoint of CD. And what we'll do now? We'll join A and P. We'll join AP and BP to find the angle APB. AP and BP. So this is the required angle. Let me say PB. Okay. This side and this sides are equal. This side and this sides are this side is equal. Okay. Now let's start our solution. So here. A, B, C, D is the parallelogram. P is the midpoint of C, D. And it is said that A, D, A, D, okay. A, D is equals to half of A, B. That means A, B equals to 2 of A, D. That means if we take the midpoint of A, B, it will be equals to A, D. Okay. As A, B equals to D, C, that means the midpoint of D, C, that means D, B will be equals to A, D. Okay. So here as A and the midpoint, let's say it is O. A, O equals to A, D. So here DP will be equal to AD because the opposite sides are equal in case of a parallelogram. So here first of all AB CD is parallelo parallelogram uh, parallelogram okay parallelogram. Now as ABCD is parallelogram we can say that AB will be equal to DC which means which implies what it implies that AD AD will be equal to DP why as as p is the p is the midpoint of mid point of c d and a b equals to 2 a d okay both of these statements suggest that a d will be equal to t p okay as a d is equals to half of a b that means let's say a o as a b and d c are same that means half of d p a, uh, half of DC will be equal to half of AB. That means AO will be equal to DP. As AO is equal to AB, AD. So you can say AD will be equal to DP. Okay. Now, in this triangle, in this triangle ADP, we can see that these two lines are equal. That means this angle, angle DAP will be equal to DPA. These two angles will be equal. Okay. Let's say angle, angle DAP is equal to X. So DPA will also be equal to X. Okay. So from here, you can say that let angle. Uh, D A P is equals to X. Okay. So therefore angle D P A angle D P A will also be equals to X. Y as A D equals to D P. Okay. And let's say in this triangle uh, B C P. Okay. Now this triangle B C P. A D is equals to B C. Why A D is equals to B C? Because it's a parallelogram. That means opposite sides will be equal. So A D will be equals to B C. And A D is equals to D P. And DP is equal to PC. Why DP equals to PC? Because P is the midpoint of DC. So we can say BC will be equal to PC. Okay. So from here you can say as as uh, DP equals to PC and AD equals to BD. BD we can say that therefore PC uh, sorry BD not BD it will be BC. BC. Therefore PC will be equal to BC. Okay. That means BC and PC are equal. That means if we take this angle to be Y, this angle will also be Y. Okay. So from here, we can say let angle CBP, angle CBP is equal to Y. Therefore, which means angle CPB, angle CPB will be also be equal to Y. Why? Because BC equals to CP or PC. Now we have got this. Okay. Look at this. This is x, this is x, this is y, this is y. So if you want to find out this angle, this angle, in this triangle A, D, P, what we will get? It will be, it will be what? It will be 180 degree minus 2x 
okay because x and x will be 2x and it will be 180 degree minus both of this angle similarly this angle will, will be equals to what 180 degree minus 2y okay so let's first find out these two values now we can write that therefore as the as the as the two adjacent angles as the two adjacent angles at the two as the two adjacent angles of a parallelogram of a parallelogram are supplementary supplementary that means therefore we can write therefore angle a d p plus angle b c p will be equal to what 180 degree okay so if we substitute the value it will be from 4 ADP to 180 degree minus 2x for BCP it will be plus 180 degree minus 2y will be equal to 180 degree or from here what we'll get we'll get 180 degree 180 degree that means 360 degree so here it will be 360 degree minus this value 180 degree equals to if we bring these two constant uh, variable terms on the right hand side it will be 2 common x plus y okay from here we can find the value of x plus y or x plus y will be equals to 360 minus 180 means 180 180 degree divided by 2 which is equals to 90 degree okay now if we look at the diagram now if we look at the diagram we can see that this angle we need this angle okay if we need this angle this angle is equals to what 180 degree minus x minus y okay so angle the value of angle a p b will be equal to 180 degree minus x minus y so therefore you can write therefore angle a angle a p b is equals to 180 degree minus x minus y okay now if we take minus common from this part it will be 180 degree minus of x plus y x plus y which is equals to 180 degree minus 90 degree which is equals to 90 degree okay so we have proved that therefore angle a p b is equals to 90 degree okay so this is the required solution okay this is what we have to prove so this is the required solution of this question thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today